So we, we, are, we have gathered here in this press conference essentially to uh, focus on some critical issues related to the Nobel Prize. Uh, the, the first issue is uh, the 2000 Nobel Prize that was given. Uh, the basic assumption, the scientific assumption is incorrect. And about 12 years ago, I held a press conference in Kolkata also. At that time, I uh, discussed that and uh, at that time also again I was nominated based on that, that, that basic assumption is incorrect. And the assumption that we will see in the conductive polymer. Conductive polymer means electronic polymer which can carry electric current. Polymers are, or plastics are usually insulated, current pass current. And Jehetu, a specific type of polymers can carry current or electric current. So that's very uh, special, very innovative, very new development. In the conductive polymer, is Duto Angswaji, actum check conjugated polymer. Conjugated polymer means carbon. Atom, atoms will all link to it, but there is a double single, double single bond sequence. And even around uh, early 1980s, around the same time, a similar time, I also reported, I found that it doesn't have to have double single, double single. Only actor double thugly you have it. Actor double thugly you have it. Now if you increase the number of double bonds, of course the conductivity goes up and uh, quite quite significantly. And then it becomes the highest part conjugate polymer. However, it's a Nobel Foundation, a Nobel Prize that will only for conjugate conductive polymer. That was an injustice. And uh, not only that, they, what they wrote is totally incorrect. They said only conjugated polymers can be conducted. While our Kajta to 88 reported a patent was issued back in early 1980s. So those were all in the literature and there were discussion in chemical engineering news, in Nature, Scientific American and so on. Now how they overlooked everything. <laughs> so, and that was brought up before, and that is the issue. It continues on and has not been resolved yet. However, I have to give some positive aspect. Nobel Committee, I have interacted with the chair who actually was involved in giving that Nobel Prize. Uh, and I spoke with him on the phone, and also we had interactions with the executive directors of the Nobel Foundation. Uh, they all agree that it is here. They, they have no doubt. Nobody is objecting. And it has passed the test of time. <laughs> it has been quite a long time. So it is, the, it is established, they have accepted that that assumption is incorrect. And my assumption was correct, and it is still correct. You have to have at least one double bond, and the one increase could have delayed, conductivity goes up. Now the theory they developed is based on conjugated polymer and uh, those who receive the Nobel Prize. And when, therefore, that theory is limited. That theory works for conjugated polymers, but it cannot be applied to non-conjugated conductive polymers. There is a vast range of non-conjugated conductive polymers because you get double bond, then maybe two single bond and double bond, or maybe you get three single bond and double bond. So the repeat can be different. Then. But however, there is a theory called Coulomb correlation theory, which also has been developed, and I have used, used that in this non-conjugate polymer, it also applies to conjugate polymer. So, uh, so, so that's why it stands. Now non-conjugate conductive polymers has a very specific and significant application that is in uh, protection against nuclear radiation involving radioactive iodine. Uh, iodine is needed to make the polymer conductive. When iodine interacts with the polymer, then there is a charge transfer from the double bond to the iodine. And it 
creates a hole and that hole becomes conducting. However, in doing so, the iron gets bound and bonded to the polymer. And now, one can use that same systematics in, in the case of uh, nuclear radiation. If there is a radioactive iron emitted from nuclear reactor, which it is emitting all the time, it, it, about 3% of the byproduct of nuclear reactors uh, is radioactive iron. And uh, if we cover the nuclear reactors with this polymer, what, what will happen is radioactive iron cannot escape. So that will help significantly that uh, we can protect human lives against nuclear radiation. Now, uh, presently what is used is potassium iodide. Potassium iodide, uh, what it does, it is essentially saturated with iron. And therefore, iodine cannot, radioactive iron cannot do much harm. However, uh, that is a passive way of attacking the problem. Instead, we cover the reactors then we have less radioactive iron. The radioactive iron can, is volatile, so it can pass through air, and it, in fact, in the Fukushima disaster, the radioactive iron went to the United States, uh, crossing the ocean, and, and uh, caused some illnesses in children. And also, also... We know people are अपनी खंडकर जरा आगामी दिने साइंटिस्ट को देखा थे उस दिशा में क्यों बोल रहे हैं? आह जेटा बोल बो अच्छा जेटा बोल बो आवर आई हैव सम सजेशंस एंड ओपिनियंस बट बिफोर गोइंग दैट लेट मी अटैक ऑन अनदर इश्यू ऑन द 2014 देयर इज अ नोबेल प्राइज गिवन फॉर सुपर रिजल्ट फ्लोरेसेंस माइक्रोस्कोप However, the basics of that that's based on laser using laser pulses and but what happened is that theory that they used to do that super resolution is based on uh, nonlinear optics, and most of the work is done by us, by myself and some of my colleagues. And the equation they're using is also to measure the to measure the resolution. The resolution becomes very narrow, and, but that is uh, and depends on intensity of light. But that. The equation was used, but they did not make any reference, so that was essentially plagiarism. <coughs> so that was brought up. Again, the Nobel Committee did not object it now. Well, that they did not object that this it has happened. So, uh, so there are two issues only 2000 and 2014 Nobel Prize. And then, third is that uh, they, after, of course, the committee has not. And raise these issues, but, and, but my research funding was cut after I brought up all these issues because it's kind of a revenge problem from, from the part of the Nobel laureate because it's a, it's a personal problem hurting their ego, of course. But because 